An area nonprofit serving at risk youth in Tulsa is working hard to overcome an absolute mess that left one of its buildings stripped to the studs. Two News Director Corey Duke takes us to Youth Services of Tulsa, where a water leak may have caused a setback, but it is not stopping the critical work needing to be done. A whole different level of that. Um, so thank, thank goodness yeah. that it did, that didn't happen. The Youth Services of Tulsa Lobby looks a bit different lately. Lights dangle from the ceiling while drywall stands exposed as some of the building's skeleton can be seen from room to room. We had a flood that actually has uh, damaged significantly, as you can see, about two thirds of our main administrative building, um, which has basically left the offices upstairs on the north and central wings unusable. A water leak displacing care providers, youth development and administrative staff for the foreseeable future. These roles are critical in serving the at-risk youth in the city of Tulsa. We deal with a variety of of situations, let's say, with, with young people, often young people in crisis, um, young people in the classroom, young people in, you know, small leadership groups. So we're quite used to thinking on our feet, being flexible. It's kind of part of the job. Staff members jumped into action last Friday, grabbing everything they could once they saw the water. Many found new spaces to work, whether sharing space in an untouched part of the flooded building or another YST building nearby. We support youth in Tulsa County ages 12 to 24 with a variety of different programs. And um, one of the main things that happens in this office in this building is counseling. So, you know, now all of our counselors have sequestered to that wing. And, and like you said, we didn't miss a beat. You know, you can't. And while staff handled what was happening in the office, the Tulsa community stepped in to fill other needs. The Tulsa community is amazing. I mean, I, I personally, you know, received phone calls like what can we do what can we bring YST asks to help fulfill the Amazon wish list found online at YST.org or by stopping by T-Town Tacos located outside the YST building every Tuesday just a few random offices although the extent of the damage in a dollar figure is still to be determined staff members are staying optimistic we're trying to find the silver lining and use it as an opportunity to kind of refresh some spaces rain shine or flood staff says its services are always available Corey Duke, 2 News, Oklahoma. Right now, Youth Services of Tulsa does not have the capacity to take any in-kind donations, so they're encouraging residents to take them to the Tulsa Day Center. The shelter, drop-in center, and the station do remain open, and despite the flood, counselors will keep all of their appointments.